Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. If you watched the last video, then you saw a bit of a recap on how I made the box rockers before I did the overland trip. And as I said in that video, I wanted to be building some tube sliders as an extension for extra protection, but also a step. As getting up and operating the roof tent without it means opening doors, it can be kind of annoying. And it just helps with protection of the side of the vehicle, but also just the convenience of operating the roof tent, getting up on the rack while you're out and about. But first things first, I'll get the Jeep out of the garage and I'll show you what I've cut up so far in terms of tubing and then we'll see if we can get it welded up today. You'll have to excuse the lighting in my garage, hopefully it's uh, not too bad. This place is a work in progress, still needs insulating, concreting the floor and uh, a few other things too, although I have got power in here now which is great, although it's flipping cold in the winter I'll tell you that. But uh, this is the pipe we're using, um, I bought 6 metres of this and it was extremely cheap. It's a 3 mil wall and uh, it's 40 millimetres um, in terms of external diameter. And uh, I've cut myself a couple of lengths, the full length of the actual rocker panel at the moment, but I'm then going to work that down gradually. Um, I've got plenty of this pipe, so I didn't want to cut myself anything too short before I took it to fabricate it, so I had a little bit of material to play with. And also, I've got these 90 degree bends. You can obviously just pop these on the end, and there you go, that's a pretty easy rock slider created straight away if you're on a budget. Another way I've done it though to achieve a different style bend on the end of the slider is I've cut the 90 degree bend directly in half to give myself a little bit of a steeper angle and then I took myself a straight piece of pipe and that's my desired length of sticky out protrusion that I want from the slider there and then what we can do is just weld this part directly on the end there and then that gives us a little bit more of a, of a kind of styled slider there so really really simple i've done all this with an angle grinder a tape measure and scratching it up with a screwdriver it's not the best way to do things but i work with what i've got so uh, that's what we're going to go with the only thing i'm left to build is two braces that go in between the slider and the pipe and that will give me a bit more strength rather than just directly bending the pipe if a tree ends up looking at me the wrong way so uh yeah let's see if we can get that done and then we've got to get this all ground up and obviously prep it for weld. So I've just got all these cleaned up and ready for weld and obviously rounded the edges off as you can see there. So when you weld in the weld's going to penetrate a bit better you're going to get a bit of a better bite on that and it'll be more structural. This is the Pro Table Workbench. Um, retails for about $99.95. Really, really good bit of equipment. So, uh, you know, I'll put the link in the description um, if you're interested. This is how the pros do it. <laughs> there we go, four centimetres. I'm going to add in an extra centimetre and the reason being is I want to make a curve so the curve will start at 5, drop into 4 and back up to 5.
four centimeters. Wow, four centimeters. Yeah, there we go. Look, well, he says look, but it is just this to do really with that edge there. Actually, that's that's not perfect, but it's kind of what we're looking at. Like that, except that'll be way further down. Well, I've got four of these made up now, and they all seem to work out pretty well. Uh, they measure four centimeters on the inside between the slider and the tube, and just under five actually because obviously I did a bit of grinding um, on the taller part there where it overlaps the tube. So with that in mind, they should be good. They should be good. There's there's a lot of better ways of, of doing that kind of stuff. You know, a hole saw, a pillar drill, you'll be able to make some really accurate cuts and, and, and really do things properly. And I think I'll invest in that if I'm gonna do more tube work. Anyway, enough talking, let's get loaded up. So I'm in a friend of mine's workshop and uh, I've set up a table here with all the stuff on that I'm going to be welding. I've got the welder just over there and the, the Jeep's just behind me. We did try to lift the Jeep up but uh, it's a little bit tricky on this kind of lift with the way I've got the skid plate underneath and everything. So I'm going to leave it on the ground. Originally I wanted to build the slider and piece it together on the actual Jeep. Um, but I've decided against that mainly because Building it on this flat table here allows me to build it on a flat surface quite easily. There's not too much excessive welding going on around the Jeep, damaging paintwork and such. And uh, it means I can take the Jeep home if, if plans change or things take too long today. And I don't have to leave it in the shop, which they don't really want me to do. So I'm going to get it built up on here. I'm going to start with one side first. Uh, I'm going to leave the other side work out how long I want it, trim down the other side, put the other end on, and then work out an equal distance apart for the two joists in the middle. The weld is set up nice and I, I haven't really touched the settings but I'm going to leave myself some room on either side, probably about 50 millimetres. Which means I need to take off about 4 centimetres that side there. Pretty happy with the way this is looking. I'm gonna mark this up now and, uh, and then I'm gonna grind these areas down and get it welded on today. Reason being is um, I don't mind a little bit of surface rust, I can always clean that down. This sill will rock as four mil thick, this is about three mil thick, so you know it's no big deal if there's a tiny bit of surface rust with me taking it back to my garage at home. I'm gonna be sanding it all down and doing the prep work I said, and then when the Raptor arrives, we'll get it Raptor lined and it'll be done but this is the only real opportunity I have today to do the welding, so I kind of need to get these on and, um, and just kind of be done with it. So uh, yeah, mark it up and get them burnt on.
Well, that was a pretty good day's work. Both sliders in. I didn't think we'd get them welded on today, and uh, I was dubious to do that because I didn't really feel happy with welding them on without using an oscillating sander to key the difficult areas um, to make it easier to paint. I mean, having to sand those down once they were welded on would mean manually using sandpaper to go around the tubes. You wouldn't get quite as good a, a prep as an oscillating sander. So I'm, I'm glad they had one in the workshop uh, to lend me. So they're all welded on, they're ready to prime. Obviously the downside, I'll drive this home now and it is wet outside. It might not be, things might have frozen, it, the temperatures might have dropped below zero, hopefully they have, but there are still some pretty big puddles out there that would take a long time to freeze. So a bit of surface rust isn't a problem, just sand that down. I mean, it will go in a garage when it gets back and I'll dry it off and the air's pretty dry here, which, uh, which is good. They don't salt the roads here in the north of Sweden, which I'm very lucky. Uh, about but uh, yeah the Raptor line is on its way I have ordered some zinc primer as well some etch primer I said I wouldn't but uh, you know peace of mind do a job want to do it right get it etch prime get it painted and uh, yeah and then we're done and maybe I'll add some strips at the top of some plastic grip to stand on which will help the paint wear we'll see but you know it has to look good it has to be right and it has to function properly and those are the main things really. So uh, I look like I've been working in the mine all day. Time to go home, take a shower and have some dinner. So uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when I got the paint. Thanks guys.